Hello, my darlings, and welcome back to my channel. Yes, we are at the sewing table today because we are going to finish up the dress that we started last week. If you guys did not tune in, I am recreating a pretty little thin dress from a pair of pants. If you have not seen it, make sure you go watch it before you even resume this video so that you are all caught up and know where we will be picking up off at. And today we will not only be doing the rest of the sewing for the dress, but we will be doing the final reveal. So before we get started, make sure that you guys thumbs up this video, make sure you are subscribed and let's get into it. So to get started, I am going ahead and taking out the previous pins that I had to make sure that I am able to easily sew these pieces together and I'm really excited to get started. If you guys don't know, I am a self-taught designer. I have not taken any classes. I haven't gone to college for it or anything like that. I have literally been figuring things out as I go along on my journey to <laughs> success. I have to say that my favorite part of designing is just knowing that I am piecing together something that will literally be on my body. And it's kind of insane to think about the fact that I am creating clothing and I have that crazy realization every time I create something. So now I am going ahead and creating the sleeves as well as piecing together the parts for each sleeve and then I am going to sew them together. So this dress has a short sleeve to it, which I am not the biggest fan of short sleeves. Um, and it's just because I have kind of muscular and shaped arms. <laughs> so I think sometimes it kind of gives me like a weird muscly, like muscle man look. But at the same time, I did not hate the way that these sleeves came out at all.
So now I'm just trying them on, making sure they fit me and that they don't look super awkward. Now what I am doing is matching them up to the top and going ahead and setting in the sleeves so that I can finally move on to creating the rest of the dress. Now the sleeves are in and I can finally move on to working on the next part of the dress. So what you see me doing is attaching the little pieces to go on the back for the string tie up at the back. Um, this was kind of difficult and I actually sewed all of the pieces off camera because it was very tedious and would have made for a super long unnecessary video. So I just cut all of that out and just jumped right into sewing them on and getting to the good stuff. Do any other glasses wearers just absolutely hate wearing glasses? Like it is the worst thing ever and I wish that I could wear contacts because it hurts so badly every day. So now I'm sewing the other hooks on the other side and then we will move on to doing the next part of the dress.
I'm not gonna lie, this dress took a lot of time. If you guys saw part one, then I was talking about how meticulous this particular dress was because there are a lot of smaller pieces that have to go in to make the larger piece and those hooks had to be some of the most complicated things <laughs> ever, but we got it done, which is important. <laughs> Now I am about to go ahead and sew the bottom piece to the skirt. It was just a simple straight piece and that was pretty quick and easy to go ahead and assemble. As long as I had my measurements, it was super quick. So we're getting that done now. A little fun fact about these pants that I'm turning into a dress. Um, they were so large that I would literally trip on them when I was like out walking and stuff. And I am very clumsy as I talked about before. I'm very clumsy so it was very very hard for me to walk in those because they kept getting caught underneath like my heels or you know just my feet in general as I was walking even with flip flops on like they were so large so I knew I had to get rid of them and do something with them and this was literally perfect. So I have the top done, I have the tie going through the back. Um, this is the front part and what that is looking like. So far it looks pretty crazy because there's nothing more attached to it but I think that it came out really, really good. Now what you see me doing is attaching the frill to the bottom, putting the final piece of the puzzle together and I could not be more excited because this took all day long to sew. I'm gonna sew this up off camera and then we are going to get to the final reveal. Okay, honeys, this is the final result. There is the tie up back. Okay, and I don't know if you can guys, if you guys can really see it. There's all the stuff that I used to prop the camera up on. <laughs> but I really like it. Um, I think that it came out great. I added this little tie to it because I like the way that it cinched in my waist. and made it look really, really good. And these, this is the original tie that came with the pants. So I just put that on there. And this is it. And I wanted a smaller ruffle than what they have because I feel like the smaller ruffle would have been better. I feel like the longer bigger ruffle that they had on that particular dress would not have looked good on me because it would have lengthened the dress to a point where I wouldn't want it to. So I made it smaller. What do you guys think of the dress? Make sure you leave a comment letting me know your thoughts and opinions. And I'm in love with it and I can't wait to wear it out because <laughs> I have yet another dress that I made out of a pair of pants and I love it. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this transformation, please let me know. Again, if you did not watch part one, go watch part one to see how I started off and me cutting the pieces so on and so forth to get this look. 
I am so happy with the way that it came out. It feels really, really good. It looks really good. Um, like I said, make sure you guys leave a comment letting me know how you think it came, it came out because I'm personally in love with it and I want to wear it outside. <laughs> and I think it's really perfect for the summertime too. So anyway, we're going to go ahead, close this video out. It's been really, really fun making this dress and I'm really excited to do more. If you guys want to see more, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also make sure you tune into other videos that I've already put up that um, I've created from pants or recreations or transformations, all of those things you can find in my um, Grand Fashion Design Challenge playlist. I will link it below for you guys to check out. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!